Welcome back. We got our metal. We do need to take some other metal though. I need to take that to Jason. I don't need it. And it's just gonna go to waste sitting around here. I'm not gonna hold on to it for a random storm that might put a hole in one of the panels on our shop or on our, uh, or on our shop or on our barns. It's just more likely for me to damage it and ruin it, letting it sit around. So we're gonna move that onto the trailer after we take the metal off the trailer and set over here next to the garage. That metal is going to be used for a couple of things. The first thing is we're gonna make two hay cradles that hold three round bales each. And then it'll have a wire mesh, uh, or not even wire mesh, it'll have a cattle, cattle panel or a uh, goat panel, hog panel underneath of it to keep some of the hay from falling through. We're gonna get all that done and then we're gonna make some gates for our barn instead of using our wooden ones. Our, our wooden ones worked great last year, but we want to make some improvements to it and make it to where they're uh, easier to open, the pins don't get lodged, stuff like that. So improvements, little improvements every year. Let me get the skid steer out. No, we still haven't fixed it. However, some upsides, that tall box right there you see, that is the radiator for it. So we're going to go ahead and fire it up, move us stuff that we need to real quick. I already topped it off with coolant. It's gonna leak it out, or it's gonna leak out a good bit of it. And uh, I just need to get this stuff done for now. I can't, as you can see, I'm still on crutches, so I can't climb on equipment. And I can climb on equipment, I just can't lift things, it's really hard. So right now I'm at the mercy of either when my son, who you see back here, vacuuming my truck for me, pretty cool of him, um, between him, or my daughter, and then obviously my wife, that's the most useful, uh, or the most, that's the simplest way for me to do it. I'm stuttered and rambling. I'm not trying, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. Gage is also going to be a nice guy and vacuum out the Camaro for me. And then we'll put it back in the corner where it belongs. We've almost got the tuning done on it. Once I get all that stuff buttoned up and actually fully functional, the videos that we've made for the whole build we end up, we will publish them. It's just gonna be a little bit of time before we edit them. Uh, but for right now, we got a lot of stuff to get done. And I'm talking, and it takes me twice as long now with three legs, so let, uh, let's keep going. I suppose I should explain the design that I did. Basically, I want it to hold three five by five round bales. Now, this is the bottom of it. This is the, the skid and the legs. So I made all the legs 18 inches. The skid itself is just the two by two uh, square tubing with eighth inch wall. And then these 45s you see on the end are for if we were to push it, we're not just shoving yeah, I know, I burned a hole in it, I'll fix it. But if I didn't have this on here, whenever I'd push it against, uh, across the ground in the uh, barn, it would shove a bunch of sawdust in there. I don't want that. So that's why those are in there and we'll put caps on the end of those 45s. The next thing that we're gonna do is essentially take two more 15 foot sticks of the two by two <clears throat> tubing and we'll put on here and it'll run down there and then we'll do the same thing right here. 
So between these two skids, there's going to be a two foot piece right here that goes across. Again, in the center where those two legs are, and then one more time at the end where those two legs are. And then we'll do it one more time right here. And again, at the top of those legs down there. Overall, I don't think it'll be terrible. I think it'll be fine for what we're using it for. But again, this is designed for sheep. Now, the goal here is so that we could put three five by five round bills in this specific cradle. And then we're gonna make one that's just like it and it's gonna hold three more. Now, these are gonna be set in the center of our livestock barn. If you're curious about our livestock barn setup, you can go back uh, last winter time frame, right before winter started, and the, there'll be a barn tour and everything else. Or you just go to our channel and search for livestock barn. You'll see all the videos, there's videos of, of us building it and everything. I'm gonna get the next set cut and get ready to weld these in. All right, so what we want to do, I'm going to show you without, we're not going to touch the trigger or anything, okay? So what we want to do is, once we're on here, we're going to make small seats. So we're going to go make a seat this way, and then come back and make a seat this way. Back and forth, really, really slow. Here we go. I don't know how I want to attach the panels. The purpose of the panels, I think I talked about it before, but I'll just go over it one more time. This is to keep the debris, so when they're grabbing bales, or grabbing hay out of the bale, right? As they grab and pull, not just what's in their mouth is coming out, but also some other stuff that's around it. Well, by putting something under it, such as this, where they can still get their mouth through it, they'll be able to pull the hay out that they want, and then whatever debris would fall with it, hopefully this will catch most of it. Now, is it gonna catch all of it? Absolutely not. However, being able to catch a good chunk of it is gonna make a big difference. Just like uh, last year feeding with the cattle panels around the round bales, right? Uh, I, I showed one where we didn't put the cattle panel around, actually there's two, and they destroyed the bale. I mean, they just, basically they kept pulling and pulling and pulling, and before you knew it, there was nothing left of the bale almost. It was just a pile, and most of which that they peed on and pooped on. So now, not only are they not going to eat it, but it's going to have to get disposed of because of the waste. This is going to stop that. Um, just like the cattle panel did when we put it around it. But I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put this on real quick. That won't work. It's all done. So, all completed, everything's tack welded together. I only tack welded the ends right here, mainly because in the middle, nobody's gonna be walking across it except me when I was welding on it. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the idea, the concept. I, uh, I think it'll be effective for these guys. And uh, we're actually gonna go, well, I have an appointment, so we can't do it right now. Uh, I gotta do physical therapy. We're gonna take this, we'll put it in the barn, and we'll throw three square or three round bales on it. Again, this is designed to hold three five foot 
wide, five foot tall round bales. Uh, obviously, it could, as long as they're smaller than that, it would hold them without an issue. And it can actually hold a little bit larger. So, like, if I make a whoops, I didn't make it exactly five feet between this and this. And the reason being is because sometimes if I've got just a little bit to go on a bale or on a field, I won't kick a bale out. I'll make it a little bigger. So instead of being a 60 inch bale, which is five feet, it might be 65 or 68 inches. Not a big deal because again, I kind of made an idea of, hey, you know, probably to make it a little bigger just in case. So we're ready to test it. craziest thing ever. We all know, anybody that's worked with tools of any sort that plug in, everybody knows that if that was plugged in and I was just trying to scoot it over a little bit by hand or, you know, pulling on the cord, that dang thing would have unplugged instantly. By some miracle, once you climb up in the skid steer and you're moving something big around, it just hangs on for dear life. Unbelievable. caps. I'm actually waiting for some metal. I bought one and a half inch so it'll fit inside of here and I'll have four so right there, 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 and there. Basically build this end cap exactly the way the stand itself is and then it'll have a piece of cattle panel over the end of it too and I'll also have a hole drilled for me to put my pins through. That'll keep them from climbing up on there too. So sorry. I did forget to mention that, but I also didn't have the materials, so I will show that once the materials do show up. Overall, though, I'm pretty happy with it. it uh, it'll do exactly what it's supposed to. These guys will just come down here, and they'll start pulling their hay out. Now, needless to say, we're going to take the twine off. We'll take the net wrap off. All that stuff will be off. But right now, since we were testing it, I didn't want to take unwrap it because, you know, let's say we had a catastrophic failure. I didn't want to have a bale that's just going to gets you know kind of thrown everywhere didn't want to waste a bale this bale was actually from last year um they didn't eat at all but it's been sitting in here the whole time so it's good and dry i do need to pick that up but otherwise good to go so hope you guys enjoyed it <clears throat> if you have any questions about them uh, you know ask questions in the comments below we'll answer all of them so far we have responded to 100 percent of the comments on our channel except for the spam ones we don't respond to those but all the real people we have responded to 100 percent of them and like i said hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys learned something and as always i hope you keep coming back so thank you have a blessed week and we'll see you next time <laughs>